Hello YouTube, hola, bonjour, como esta, and however other ways you say welcome. So today we're going to be talking about how I set up the UAE emulator to run the Amiga 500 games on my Nintendo Wii. So we're going back to the 80s, to that most fabulously built computer, the Amiga 500. So stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, I'll try and explain this as best as I can. So here you see we are in the root directory of the SDHC card, go back to that, that um, goes inside the Wii. This runs the Wii basically, okay? So there's, okay, boot me, that, that's all stuff. Uh, th there's basically two directories to this, which is, your, your root directory and the apps, which is a subdirectory. That's the apps is this important subdirectory. <coughs> so back to the root directory, and we'll have a look at UAE. Okay, so here's basically a file a folder structure of the UAE in the root directory so you've got your floppies okay now your floppies when you think about it are the games you used to insert into the drives so the floppy is an actual I don't know it might be known to you as a ROM but that is the game and I've got them in here I'm running dot ADF format uh, file format um, seems to be popular and it seems to be the best okay so that's that covered your hard drive you just put a dummy file in there same for the hard disk and HD I dare say is hard disk again so these three folders have dummies in there now your ROMs is important okay so kick dot ROM that is where you put the ROM file. Now what the ROM file is, is basically the BIOS of the Amiga. It is the front screen that shows you the uh, Workbench 1.3. Okay, so that's what you put in there. Now I am willing to share all my files, I don't care. In the saves I've just got a dummy file because I don't save any of the scores, I like playing them. Now in the WAVE folder, which is sound obviously, the .waf, uh, v format all these sounds pertain to the machine itself such as how the noise that the disk drive made when it was reading the disk and the clicking and the loading and all that sort of stuff this is all system hardware sounds that's the best way I can put it okay now these files are obviously generated by the UAE emulator. So I, I didn't put them there, that, that was how they are. Okay, now, in the apps folder, there's a lot more going on here because a lot of your emulators will be in here, like um, Genesis and all that sort of stuff. Your homebrew browser, system files are in here. So you have gotta be really careful when you muck around with this. So let's go into the, we're in the apps directory and let's go into the UAE directory. Now, basically these folders are, um, what would you say? I have files in here. Now if you have a look, I'll just quickly show you. I've got all the action replay ROMs. I've got all the, disk ROMs. I've got every single ROM I've collected over the years, which is like I've explained, um, a ROM is a BIOS, basically. Without the BIOS, you can't go anywhere. So I think I'm running this Kickstart to get mine going. Okay, you've got Super Kickstart. I haven't tried anything else because I, I like the old Workbench 1.3. Uh, some documentation in there. I've got the configuration, of joint, the uh, the mapping files for the the game. As you can see, 
Um, these are, they're a config file basically, because you've got to remember this is sort of like the old DOS system, so it looks to these config files to set your, um, uh, what would you say, your, um, your, your settings. Now, these in the images folder, okay, I'll just quickly open this up, and that's the keyboard. Now, <clears throat> some of the Amiga games require a keyboard, so this is the picture that comes up of this keyboard, and you move your pointer to, you know, F2, F3, H, whatever you need. And so this is how you use the keyboard for the Amiga. Okay, so all these pictures, yes, they're necessary. Now, um, more ROMs, like I said, I've got a lot of ROMs, I can try them, whatever. But this is basically what the configuration's running off. There's the Amiga ROM, the boot.dol file, the configuration text, all the fonts being used, um, the icon image for the emulator, the joystick mapping config file. Um, so everything is basically here. Now I can share, like I said, my files on my NZ um, account. And you just can download them from there, whatever. I'm not fast. I like promoting the system. It was a really good system. So that's basically um, how I've got my directory sort of running. So you've got to remember, root directory, UAE, you put games in here. Okay, it looks for the games in the root directory. Okay, so then in the apps directory, under UAE is your boot sequence and everything relegated to it. So I'm gonna go over to the TV now. We're gonna have a look at how the system works, configure a controller, have a bit of a play, and um, we'll take it from there. But don't forget, any questions, feel free to ask. I'll help as much as I can to get you up and running because it is an absolutely awesome system. So we'll go to the TV now. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, what would I know? I don't know anything. It's all trial and error. Um, but I can tell you I built this arcade cabinet. It's uh, a fantastic unit, 5,000 plus games. Just check out some of my videos. I can also tell you that I completely built this 30,000 plus song um, jukebox in an arcade machine, complete with neon speakers, subwoofer, everything. Um, so that's another thing. But I did lose a lot of hair in doing all this, so be warned. Okay, so I thought about, I'll just turn the sound up so you can actually hear the computer. Um, what I was talking about, the uh, sound waves in that wave folder that replicate um, the machine noises, and I'll have to turn it down, obviously, for the um, games when they're in play. I have to stand back also because, as you guys know, the Wiimote controller is um, operated by a sensor bar, and you've got to be far back enough for it to be accurate. Okay, so I've started the UAE emulator up. We're going to see what it comes up with. Now, basically... The keys you're going to be using on the remote control, the home key is your menu system for the emulator. Here's the noises. That's the actual sounds that the Amiga 500 made while it was loading a game. Now, <clears throat> we've got Bubble Bobble here on, on the screen, so that's been obviously the last game loaded. So I'll just turn the sound down because I'm not sure you want to hear Bubble Bobble at... Uh, such high decibel. So with the pointer, obviously you're using the infrared pointer in some of it. Um, I don't think they work, no, it does, some of these menus don't work on the actual joystick part, the cross. When you point the stick, you can see the mouse pointer actually works for the Amiga. Okay, so there you go, bubble bubble loading. Um, I don't need to take you and show you that the game actually works because I'll, I'll show you this one working. I'm trying to make this video as brief and as um, as brief and as short as I can because I don't like to ramble on too much and I like to get the point across of how to configure the UAE emulator and the floppies and all that okay so one or two play you push the one button at this point journey to the cave of monsters 
Good luck. Okay, so here we go. My eldest daughter loved this game. <laughs> okay. So, so I've just pushed the home key. Okay, so the home key gets into this menu. Now this menu here is where you configure everything. Your Wiimote and all that. Now I've got mine set on uh, bind key to Wiimote, one, two, minus and plus, which is that one. I've just selected the first that was in the range. Okay, so one returns you back to the previous menu. Okay, now when you're in insert floppy, that's your ROM, that's your game. So you push the number two key. Um, let's, uh, I'll try and pick a quick, let's say crazy cars for instance. Push two again. Now, <clears throat> when you've put the disc in, the computer, as it was in its day, didn't know that the disc was in. So you've got to actually come down to reset UAE, push number two key again, and it reboots the um, computer, but with the disc in the drive, and that's how you load a game in. So here you'll see the um, crazy cars coming up. I'll stand back, so I'm, I'm in the range of the uh, sensor bar. And that's the game loaded. Okay, so select another game quickly. Show you one more time. You'd go to the home key, which is the blue button with a little house on it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, okay, you've got a virtual keyboard as well. You push, vert, you go down to scroll down to virtual keyboard, push to. If you need to do any key presses, whatever, that is where you'd do it. Now, to get out of that, push the one key again. All right. But, um, Okay, so you go down here, push number two on DFO, it'll go to your directory. Um, okay, we've done Crazy Cars, uh, Crazy Sue, Donkey Kong, I don't know. Um, fantastic, final blow. Okay, number two again, final blow. Don't forget, you have to reset UAE. And that's how they get that reboots the computer with a disk in the drive, makes all the computer noises, and up comes the game. All right, so I'm not going to proceed any further with loading another game because you know how it works. Any questions in um, regards to the emulator, to the uh, joystick controls, um, to the file directory, give me a shout out and I will be able to help you somewhere along the line. Thanks for watching and don't forget on the bottom here like and subscribe. Cheers guys